Welcome to Electron Line, another example of the amplitude modulation at the rudimentary level. Again, it comes from doing the frequency shifting by taking an input function in the time domain and multiply it times a sinusoidal function, like the cosine function here in the time domain. And that what happens then is the Fourier transform for a rectangular input function like this, called the rectangle function. Notice that the width of the function, the period is um, a period of 4, the amplitude is 1. And so that gives us, via the Fourier transform, a sync function where the amplitude here would be 4 because the amplitude is the multiplication of the width times the height of the input rectangular function. And then, of course, we have the spread of the, the width here in the frequency domain from minus pi over 2 to plus pi over 2. So we know now that if we're going to multiply that function times the cosine, at some frequency, it's going to cause a shift of the same amount that we have in here. Remember, this is omega sub naught, also known as 2 pi times the frequency that you want to shift it with. When you do that, notice that you get two similar sync functions. There will be half the amplitude as before. The width of each will still be a difference of a pi, just like we had it over here. And notice that in this case, because we have this multiplication times a cosine of 10t, that the frequency will be shifted to the left 10 and to the right 10. So now we have a nice frequency shift caused by the multiplication of the cosine of 10t. Basically, we have now a sinusoidal function that has the shape of the rectangular input function. And we have the information about this shift in here by the frequency that's contained within the sinusoidal function that we used to multiply the original function with. So we retain the shape and we get the frequency shift information. We do Fourier transform. The shape gives us the sync function. However, since we now have two sync functions, one shifted to the left and one shifted to the right, we then have only half the amplitude, but with the correct shift based upon the function we're multiplying it with. That's a technique we use to do amplitude modulation.